it's going to be criteria two has to be then uh, quotations less than or equal to, meaning if it lands on 60.51, it's gonna be included here. Close up the quotations, shift uh, seven for the and, and then finally the 60.51. So kind of an intimidating function, but it gives you uh, a nice calculation. We can copy that down and it should copy the relative references all the way down. We could do that by just double clicking and it should copy the relative formulas all the way down. So this is picking up everything that is greater than, not equal to, but greater than the 6281 up to and including the 63.04. Then we can use this data set to create a histogram, but with the bar chart. So now what we wanna have is on, on the X axis, we want this stuff and then this on the Y. So I'm gonna select these two columns and I'll scroll back up to where I want the histogram to be before I enter it and then insert tab and we go to the charts and graphs, histogram, there's our histogram. Boom, now it doesn't look, whoops, oh, sorry, not a histogram. <laughs> Wait a second, uh, insert tab, charts. This time we don't want the histogram, we want the bar chart, all right? The bar chart, we made a histogram with the bar chart. So let's move it down here. <clears throat> and then I'll close this for a second and make this a little bit larger. And so now we can kind of see these on top of each other. So here's the histogram we made by just inserting a histogram. And then here's the one we made uh, with the bar charts. So there we have it. And so then if I uh, select the data, if I double click on the data here, uh, and sometimes we might want to make the width smaller to like, uh, like 10 maybe. So now it looks more like histogrammy, <laughs> right? And we could add, uh, we could add our data fields. So I could go up top. It's sometimes it's a little finicky to add the data numbers. So if you go up top to the, uh, uh, so I'm in the, the chart design and then, then the ads up top and I wanna be adding then the chart labels that I could put in here or up top, there's our chart labels. Uh, we could put them up top here. So if we had a wider chart, be a little bit, we need a quite wide chart to pull in that many data labels. But, you know, we could put those in there. Uh, we might format them maybe. Well, I'll keep it like that. We'll make a really wide chart. So pull this out here. I'm going to hold sh shift scroll in a bit and just see if we can make it wide enough. We could get rid of the decimals is what I was thinking on the data labels. But in any case, that gives us an idea. I, we could do that up here too. If I pull this histogram to the right and we wanted to kind of compare the data labels on this one i could go into the design and the charts and we can access the data labels put them up top here so this one nicely uh, rounded for us so in any case there we go and so here's the data label so if you select the if you select the data and you go into uh, the, the labels over here and into numbers and you format it from general to a number formatting, then you can remove uh, the decimal places, which could be a, a little bit cleaner. I'm gonna remove the title up top. So there we have a histogram uh, that we made with the bar chart. Now, so, so, so next time what we will do, and notice the heights are, this one I just, expanded it's a little bit taller this way so i mean i can do that you know it squishes it down a bit so that it looks you know similar to our two histograms up top but uh so that's what we'll do now next time what we'll do is think about well what if i had a second set of data and then i wanted to create you know two histograms that are kind of on top of each other that's why this 
this tool might be useful. So we'll experiment and continue on with that next time.